Hello everyone, it is that blind guy, and holy crap, you can see my face. Sorry. Uh, first things first. Uh, I apologize for the lack of video yesterday. Um, I was unable to get to the internet at all. It decided to take the day off here along with the entire college campus. So there was no way I was publishing a video for this week. Or not this week. What am I saying? For Monday. Uh, so the playthrough will resume tomorrow. Uh, there is nothing wrong. It's all there. It's all on YouTube. It's just not published yet. Uh, second of all, uh, I'm going to try something new. Well, not necessarily new, but something I haven't done in about three years now. Um, I'm going to try a video uh, review of some music just to see how it all goes. Uh, the last time I did this was back in 2012 with uh, Demon Hunter's album, True Defiance. And those videos have since been taken down because they were shit quality with a cell phone camera. So, no thank you. Uh, I'd rather not have those anymore. Pretty much all of my videos uh, dating back before, gosh, 2014 uh, have all been taken down. And Man, I have some videos going back to like 2011. I think maybe even some as early as like late 2010. I I've been on and off with YouTube. I, I live on the internet, but I don't do that many videos until now, now that I've been doing multiple ones per week, and it feels good. But anyway, enough about that. Let's uh, go to the music. Uh, the subject for today is Ravenhead, the new album coming out by Orden Ogen, a German progressive power metal band, for those of you who've never, ever heard of them. Uh, in which case, you're missing out on something really good. I've been listening to these guys for about a year, and uh, they consistently blow my mind with their music. I absolutely love this band, and I guess I just wanted to do some explaining as to why and review the upcoming track and do something I haven't done in a while. Um, however, I cannot do the whole album because it is not out in the United States until February 5th. So if you are in the uh, other side of the pond, if you live in Europe, or it might be in other countries beyond Europe, I don't know, uh, you could have bought it as early as last week. I, however, get to wait another two weeks before it comes out. So hooray. Uh, I'm not happy about that. But then again, this is a band that, to my knowledge, hasn't even made it to the U.S. yet. They're not planning on a North American tour until like 2016. Uh, which I am greatly looking forward to. I really hope that pans out for them. Even though it probably wouldn't even make it anywhere near here, and I wouldn't have a way to get to it, but whatever. Um, so instead of reviewing the whole album, I'm going to review just two tracks. One this week, one next week, and then I might do each individual track later on. Uh, this one is called Ravenhead. This is the title track to the album of the same name. Uh, and I absolutely love it. I have never been this impressed with one single song out of an album, enough to make me really want to go out and buy the album. Uh, it took Demon Hunter many songs before. Like I had I had listened to all five albums multiple times. I've only listened to one of their al one of Orton Ogan's al albums from start to finish. I am tripping on my own words here. Duh. Um, I only listened to, uh, to the end, uh, from start to finish in one sitting. I have Veil, and I just listened to that on shuffle with all my other music. Um, uh, but I've really not listened to much of their stuff outside of that, though they don't have much other stuff that's in English. Uh, they have some older things that I think are in German. But, nevertheless, Ravenhead. The song, not the album, is one of the best I've ever heard. <laughs> I absolutely fucking love this uh, song. Uh, I can't put it into words exactly what I think of it. Uh, the only problem I have is that the singer's voice is a bit quiet. In the first half of each verse, all three of them, he's a little quiet, but it does pick up in the second half of the verse, which is good. 
But at the same time, European uh, music, the vocals tend to be just as much of an instrument as, say, the guitar. So it kind of makes sense that the vocals would blend in. Though I prefer the emphasis to be on the instrument so I know what's being said and I don't have to read the lyrics. But whatever, I do get better understanding of the song when, when I'm reading the lyrics. The subject of this song is death. Uh, I think this is a concept album, if I remember uh, the interview with Sieb correctly about the album. Um, so a lot of things that pertain to death in this album, particularly the title track. Uh, the chorus itself is very clearly uh, relating to death. Uh, Beyond the gates of Ravenhead, heart of evil, dreams of dread, only the touch of the dead waits on the steps of Ravenhead. A very nice chorus, easily the best chorus I've ever heard by light years. Um, everything just blends together perfectly into this symphonic style. I, nothing is really um, ear grating. Nothing particularly stands out among anything else. It's just one homogenous sound, and I absolutely adore it. Uh, and that's really the way it is for the whole song, apart from any solos. Uh, the whole thing, as a, it just the whole package, just it comes together about as well as any song could possibly get. This Gregorian in style of a. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me try that again. It's a Gregorian-influenced orchestral style uh, power metal. And I wasn't too big on power metal for a while. But recently, thanks to Ordenogan, I really, really like it. Um, it has this very strong classical influence, which a lot of metal has a classical influence. Uh, but with Ordenogan... Their classical influence is very, very much pronounced, as is most power metal. Uh, if you listen to it, you can just hear uh, the the just you, you can notice the similarities between the two styles. You go back to the old stuff. Um, I can't recall any. Uh, uh, I can't talk. I can't recall any composers off the top of my head right now from the classical era, but I do recognize the style, and there is very much of a significant um, take from that in Orden Ogan's music, particularly Sieb himself mentioned a Gregorian influence in their music. Uh, I haven't listened to much of that particular style. Uh, I can't remember the exact name. Something Gregory, uh, obviously. Uh, but it is very well, it is very easy to notice. And it all comes together very nicely into a perfect package, in my opinion. Well, nearly perfect. Uh, that's about all I got to say, other than get the album when it comes out. I know I will. Uh, these guys are very underrated. They don't get that much, uh, attention, and they really do deserve it. They have a small fan base that's growing, but it needs to grow more. These guys are, they're the best band I've ever heard, and that's probably going to stay that way for quite a while, I imagine. Um, but that'll do it for this review. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let me know. If you didn't, oops, I did something that isn't good. Uh, and I don't know, I may just do this one review and stop. I don't know. This is, again, going to be one of those whenever I feel like it kind of things. So we'll see where it goes from here. But until then, this has been That Blind Guy, signing off. Take care. <laughs>